I fear this latest trip to Disney has averted me into classic Disney YouTube trash and hence to commence my coverage of the D23 Expo here on Quell's Fair Coat, this is my classic Disney YouTube trash video, my Disney haul, in which I'll be sharing with you all the crap Disney somehow brainwashed me into spending mind-boggling amounts of money on whilst in California. Disclaimer before I begin, um, I'm not telling you how much all this stuff costs because firstly I forgot to write it down, secondly you can probably find it out online, and thirdly I'm in no position right now to admit to myself how much I actually spent. So I have subcategorized everything into little sections to make this video slightly easier to follow. You know, I'm good like that. I'm going to start with the things that you get at the very start of the expo, kind of as you enter the gates, and actually prior to that you get your event pass, which I had to pick up from Will Call and you can see it says my name, it says event guest and three day pass I have Friday, Saturday and Sunday of course and you'll notice that this has not had its little square thing removed at the top to put the lanyard in because I didn't use the lanyard, the lanyard was um, it just has the metal, the metal piece and the little handle on your neck, in your neck. It doesn't have a plastic pouch to put it in so I was scared this was going to get damaged and you know how I like things to be pristine and so I have two of these actually that I didn't, that I didn't use but you know they don't even say Disney on them, what is this? I don't know if I want these. Yeah, they're a souvenir. So yes, the end. Um, the pass and lanyard. You get your lanyard as you enter. You then get the souvenir guide as you enter. Um, and this is very nice. It's not glossy, but it, maybe it is glossy. Maybe it's more like it's, it's nice. It's nice quality. I actually picked up three. Don't tell Disney. Um, different different copies, and they're really nice. They mainly have um, kind of excerpts of um, the D Disney 23 magazine for D D23 members and uh, yeah, just a cool info, very nice. Uh, we then have my event schedule. I took a few of these as well, but these, these event schedules are really useful and um, God knows how many I went through in the weekend, but they were they're really cool for kind of, you know, uh, just checking. I use this a lot more than the app to figure out what was going on. Uh, I know the app is like obviously more kind of up to the minutes and um, you can it kind of is always at the right time but this, these are these really cool and easily accessible very nice and we then have the bags the bags uh, this year had the expo on that side and then adventures by Disney um, I have a few, few copies of these as well once again shh, I don't think you were supposed to take more than one but still they were nice and I used um, one of them at least the one that's got the most damage to carry around stuff all weekend and so um, to the backs, they're really nice. So moving on to the free stuff that I got from panels. So not at all panels, but some of the panels, well, as you exit the stage, you got given a poster or something similar. So the first thing I got was the massive big Coco poster, which was released in the animation um, Disney and Pixar panel. It's gorgeous, it's massive, like literally, can you see how big that is? And it's, it's, I don't want to say it's metallic, but it's de maybe it is metallic. In the light, it really shimmers and shines and it's gorgeous and it's still in its plastic wrapper, which so far I have no intentions of removing it from. And I'm so amazed, it's literally the miracle of the holiday. I managed to get this back um, on a plane completely unharmed and unscathed and it's still in perfect condition. So I'm really happy about that. It um, required some slight maneuvering on the plane, but still, it's gorgeous and it's amazing. And also, during that panel, these little, fluorescent little, yeah, orange things fell from the ceiling and so I keep finding them in my bags. <laughs> Just need to go around picking up all the stuff as they were as we were leaving the theatre. But um, these things, uh, they were for the cocoa, you know. Um, if you've seen the trailer, you'll know the, 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 the little, what are they? Flowers? Petals? Probably for petals. So they were cool. They were, um, they were not, I don't know, they weren't free, but they were, um, well, they were free. You just had to pick them up before. Next up, after the video games panel, you got two free posters. The first, being the Battlefront 2 Star Wars. Can you see that? This is really nice and glossy. And it's like, um, it's even limited edition, it says on the bottom, 6272 out of 10,000. Which may not sound too limited, but I guess it's free and it's nice. I don't, I don't, I don't think I've played this game. I don't know, well, I, 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 no, I haven't played this game. I don't really play games. But still, um, Battlefront 2, they, they talked about this. People got very excited and it's really nice, really thick kind of card. And um, so, that's great. And the second thing that you got was also a poster for Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 3, is that right? Which I've never played, but I've always um, been really interested in uh, in playing Kingdom Hearts. That's nice, it's double-sided, that one there. This doesn't say it's limited edition, I presume it wasn't, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, really nice, really nice Kingdom Hearts poster. 
is fantastic. After the Once Upon a Time panel, which of course I went to, um, we had these Once Upon a Time buttons, a set of four buttons. I don't know if they were exclusive to the to the panel, probably not, I don't, can you even see them there? Yeah, but they're like, it's nice, I guess it's, it's just honing in the fact that these are the three returning cast members of season seven, but it's not new artwork, that's definitely season five, season six, season two? Season two and I don't know what season one um, artwork. So so it's nothing nothing majorly new for season seven, but uh, still very cool um, button set there. And then after some of the panels, this this young guy from London, he was handing out these these little art cards. Oh no, wait, that was me. So sometimes after panels, I would go around hanging out, handing out these art cards. And if you got one from me, then please do let me know. There was five to collect: Cruella, Hercules, um, Empress New Groove. Gravity Falls and Inside Out, and they were limited edition to 100 each. <laughs> limited edition. I just pinched 100. So, um, so if you manage to get some, then please, and you, and you've, you've found my channel or my videos from that, then please do let me know. It'd be great to continue our conversation if we had one, or if not, just start a conversation. Now moving on to some things that I actually paid for the scandal. Starting at the Dream Store, which is the big Disney uh, kind of expo store run by Disney Parks and features the limited edition merchandise for the and any merchandise for the actual expo. And I got in there on the Saturday morning, so I missed out on the Friday. Any of the stuff that went on the Friday, I didn't manage to get, but at least early-ish on the um, on a Saturday morning. Starting off with some of the pins, we have first the Mickey um, Lunar Station Expo pin, and then I got Iron Man as well because they just literally, as soon as I, I was going to pay for them, they'd run out of buzz. So they they had um, not many Mar Marvel Iron Man ones left at all, but there was there was quite a lot of these. These Lunar Station three thousand, I think it's three thousand and seven hundred. So um, so very nice pins there, of course. God knows I love pins. Um, and then we have the shot glass. I didn't get the T-shirt because. I didn't really like the design, but the shot glass, that's nice. Um, it's just got Mickey and it says the expo on the back. Very nice there. They're now releasing new um, character bows for like, um, to go on headbands, and Mickey is, and so I got the mini, because this is the one that you had to kind of purchase to, well, to attach anything to, because, look at this, one of the ones they released is Cruella. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Wait, I haven't yet taken it off, so um, I can't put it on its, on its thing, but it will go there, and it looks really, really cool. And I can't believe, like, that's that's awesome that one of the ones they had was Cruella. More Cruella stuff to come. But yeah, I definitely had to get that. I believe these are going to be available at the parks coming this fall, and I heard, wait, I heard that there's an Isma one coming too, so that's very, very cool. Now some artwork that I got. I got this amazing Cruella drawing by Megan Matsumoto. I hope I said that right. Um, and uh, she was she was there, she was uh, drawing away, and I got this colour one, so it's the only colour one that was there, and of course, I had to have it. You'll get it, you'll, you'll, you'll find a recurring theme during this video that if it's Cruella, I pretty much have to buy it. But, um, but yeah, very, very nice. Then one of the limited edition artworks that was available, well, two of them, were the villains, the Evil Queen and Ursula, and I just love their designs, and I had to get this, those are probably the smallest, like postcards, <laughs> the smallest, um, versions available but they're gorgeous um you probably can't see because the light but still um they're very nice and finally they're still in the kind of packaging but i got these dolls these villains dolls um right, by linda rick and these are apparently exclusive to the expo with only 90 being made i hope i got that right but at least in these designs and these outfits uh these are very, very cute little dolls, and I love them. And one of the main reasons that I went to get them is apparently uh, very soon they're releasing a Cruella doll in this same size, so I can't wait to get them all and line them all next to each other. They're really, really nice. And um, Linda was great. I thought she was going to sign them, and I can't seem to find the signature, but still, they're still, they're nice. Uh, and I got to speak to Linda as well, so um, super, super cool. Moving on to one of the other stores at the Expo, the Disney store, which I didn't get into until the Sunday morning, but I went in there first thing and there was still quite a bit of stuff available, and to stay, this was probably my favourite store, is an understatement. Uh, there was so much Cruella stuff, we call this part of the Disney designer collection this year, which is perfect, and who would have thought it, my first year at the Expo, um, Cruella de Vil. And so, let's go through it. First of all, this Cruella de Vil, Hello. Cruella de Vil mug, which has the exclusive uh, D20 Expo spoon in it, which I haven't really looked at yet, but it's, it's gorgeous and gold, and this, this mug will likely be available in Disney stores, but, um, but the fact it's got a spoon in it made it very cool. So um, I really like that. This design, this, this Cruella artwork is absolutely stunning. 
um, I then had to get the t-shirt, the Cruella de Vil um, t-shirt, which um, will likely also be available at Disney stores, but it says you've got to dress the part, and it was on sale early at the expo, so I wanted to wear it to the parks, which I did, and so that was, um, that was great. I've totally taken the tag off, but the tag, the tag is here, if you're asking. Um, there it is. And then also the lithograph collection, which is for the designer and it has one of each of the seven seven uh, kind of dolls that are available this year. We have Milan, Cruella, Triton, uh, Blue Fairy, Rapunzel and Flynn, Moana and Robin Hood. So, so that's really, really nice. I haven't opened it yet because it's got a sticker and I hate messing up the stickers. But one day, one day I'll likely open it. God knows what that'll be. And then probably my main thing, the favourite thing that I bought from the from the from the Disney store was the pin collection, the designer pin collection, which uh, which features the Cruella pin and the other six. And so uh, this was probably the main thing I wanted. And apparently, well, at least um, this is what it seemed like. This was the final one available because I went in and I was asking about the pins that they were like, no, we've sold out. And then this cast member, just as I was leaving, she came and she uh, and she handed it to me and my. My heart skipped a beat. It was like it was like perfection, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep this curl off my collection or I will. Uh, I will trade it as a set. God knows, yet, I haven't made my mind up, but I will obviously be wanting that curl at some point. And uh, so right now it's staying as a set, but that curl is really gorgeous, and they've got some really nice details on these pins, uh, especially especially the Robin Hood, the Blue Fairy, and the Ariel ones are um, are really really nice and detailed. So they're gorgeous pins. Okay, my final thing from the Disney store was something that I wasn't actually planning on buying at all, but um, it's the Samsung Rescue Rangers set. And this was kind of just flying off the shelf, and I was like, oh my god, that's obviously worth something. <laughs> oh, it's super limited. It's limited to a thousand, and uh, god knows, I've never really collected Samsungs, but uh, but it's kind of cool, I guess. They're like they're like oh, and I never really watched Rescue Rangers, but <laughs> it's nice, I guess. Um, some sunset. <laughs> okay, so moving on to things that I bought from the show floor, mainly from the Emporium. Well, actually they're all from the Emporium. First of all, this One Little Spark book by Marty Sklar, and this is from the Rhyme and Arts, uh, little, that little booth that they had in there. And this was then signed by Marty, for the page. Look at that, isn't that cool? Uh, this is actually the only book that I got from the expo, which is kind of crazy since I love books, but I was kind of scared of them weighing down my suitcase, which in the end, it kind of did. Oh, I was, my stuff was so full. But still, uh, still, I can't wait to read this properly, and um, it was wonderful to meet to meet Marty. And I also got this pin, this uh, this Rhyme and Arts pin of 25 years, and that's signed as well. So it was wonderful to meet the guys at the Rhyme and Arts booth, and um, that was that was really, really cool. And God knows that I love collecting pins, especially Cruella pins, so I managed to pick up three really, really Really cool Cruella pins that I that I really like, and this first one is this Cruella Deville kind of Walt Disney Company uh, name badge, which is really really nice. The second is one that I've wanted for years, which is the UK the old Cruella UK one, which kind of has the slidey Cruella on the top, which I have wanted a lot ages, and no one's ever had it, so I managed to get that, and that's fantastic. And the third one is this massive Disney Auctions limited edition Cruella one, and. Um, Oh, it's so, so cool. It's massive, and it's, I mean, she doesn't look that gorgeous, but the pin is gorgeous in itself. And this is limited edition 500, this one's 200, and this, I believe, is 300. I really should have checked that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I love these Cruella pins. And the fourth pin that I got is this Cruella de Vil, um, high heel shoe, which Scott actually got for me. That's a nice surprise, so, um, which I didn't have, amazingly. <laughs> but thank you, Scott, for this one, and um, my Cruella collection ever, ever expanding. Okay, moving Moving on to the free stuff I got from the show floor. First up, from the Mice Chat booth where Bob Gurr was signing, I've got some Bob Gurr coffee. <laughs> and it's signed by Bob Gurr, and that's really cool. Bob Gurr, Walt Disney Imagineer, and um, and it's got the... Is that the Matterhorn? I don't think it's the Matterhorn. Maybe it is, on the back. And um, part of me is like, I totally want to try this coffee, and part of me is like, you cannot open that for the life of you. So um, we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Next up, also from the Mice Chat booth, I got this cup from Fairy Godmother Travel, and also this bag, uh, which are really cool. I met um, the woman who runs Fairy Godmother Travel, and these are really nice free gifts that were given out. And then also from MEI and Mars Fan Travel, this, uh, this, this thing, you know, those things that you put on the back of your phones to kind of um, 
using the car, which I think is really cool. And also, once again, I probably won't ever want to open this, although I totally need one of those things for my car. But still, <laughs> that's very nice. I mean, companies that give out free things, they're fantastic. Um, next up, from the Walt Disney Hometown Museum in Missouri, I got this really, really nice um, band, which apparently there wasn't many at the expo, but I was speaking to Kay and some of the people from, from the Hometown Museum, and they gave me this. I really, really, really appreciate that. From the Disney Pixar kind of area, I got this little button with Wreck-It Ralph on it. And then from the Oh My Disney set uh, kind of area, I got these um, these free emoji pins with Mickey, and I think they're really, really cool. I was speaking to some guys over the Oh My Disney, and I believe this is the last one of these as well, so that was this was like last thing on Sunday, and so I really really like these pins. Um, I don't think they're limited edition, I don't think they are, but they're really, really cool, and um, I thank the guys at Emma Disney for that. Now there was a lot of free leaflets and things flying around, which I've got so many of. Probably some of the best ones that I got were this little poster for um, the 75 years of Little Golden Books, and it's kind of like a history of, um, of the Little Golden Books, which is really, really cool. I really like that poster. Once again, this is probably going to go away and kind of be kept in a little collection, but still. <laughs> Next up, for the 80th anniversary of Snow White, there was like this really cool um, newspaper called the Besami Bugler. Besami Bugle, let's go with that. Um, with a really, really cool like, artwork and info about the movie. Um, I really like that. And last but definitely not least from the show floor, from the Thomas Kincaid booth, I got this absolutely stunning Disney Dreams collection of lithographs, which, um, which feature sketches for each well, not each, but a significant number of the Disney uh, Thomas Kincaid collection uh, paintings. And there was so much amazing artwork on show there, and to have been given these uh, these lithographs. If they are called lithographs, I'm pretty sure you can call these lithographs. It's absolutely amazing. My favourite ones, I'll just skip to the back, are, um, are absolutely the uh, Pinocchio, Pinocchio here, and Tinkerbell, and Peter Pan. So, um... I can't probably say much, but just watch this space in terms of Thomas Kincaid and um, Carl's Snow Coat. Hopefully some really exciting things to come in the future. And before we move away from the expo, because I am a D23 Gold member, I got the Gold Member print, which I haven't actually opened up yet, but here we go. Um, yes, amazingly, it's not sealed or anything like that, otherwise God knows it'd stay in its package forever. Um, this is, you've probably seen this picture, but it's of... Um, a cartoon of a bunch of Disney legends for the 30th anniversary, which is really, really fantastic. It's gorgeous, and it's got so many Disney legends like Robin Williams, we've got um, Julie Andrews, Angela Lansbury, oh my god, it's just gorgeous, it's amazing. Um, John Goodman, and um, Billy What's-His-Face, <laughs> and uh, John Cleese, and so many different Disney legends. It's really, really beautiful, and um, god, i got to get this framed. <laughs> Uh, being a Dis Disney D23 Gold member has its perks. It wasn't too many this weekend, but definitely, definitely worth it for this. As you may be able to imagine, after all that, my spending money for actually at the Disneyland Resort was quite limited, but you know, it wasn't too bad because there wasn't that much that I actually wanted from Disneyland. What I did get was this, uh, this pair of socks, which on one side has a bunch of Disney heroes, and on the back is Disney villains. And if we have a look closely on... This sock, not on the front one, but on this one, there is Cruella de Vil. To say that is the only reason that I bought these socks is probably true, but Cruella's on there, so I had to have them. And the other thing I got was another piece of clothing. It was this Disneyland kind of jumper. It's, um, it's very cool, it's just black, but it says on the front, D established 1955, and on the back, it says Disneyland. That would have been really classy. That would have been really, really cool just to have that on the front, but no, Disneyland's gonna make things tacky. And so, um, so you know, I wanted something to wear, and this is probably my favourite out of all the things that are available to purchase to wear, so, um, so there we go. To top it all off, because it was my first visit to the Disneyland Resort, I got my first visit button, which is really, really cool. Actually, the first night that we got there, we just went to Downtown Disney, but we managed to get our first visit button, which is very cool. And then also my Disneyland ticket, which is a shame that it's only paper, but still. And also a shame that it's got lightning and made to them, not anyone else. But still, actually, I really loved Cars Land, of course. So, actually, it's not all bad. And, of course, being in Hollywood, I had to go and visit the Al Carverton Theatre and Disney's Studio Store, where I got the Pinterest Light Sunday, and I managed to pick up Ralph from the Muppets. And, you know, um... Jeannie was there a few days before, we made, didn't manage to get in, but still. Um, it's called Limited Edition. I think that's 300, I think it's 300. And it's just, just nice to have gone to the, to the 
El Capitan and seeing, seeing that kind of area, even if Hollywood Boulevard wasn't particularly um, the most amazing experience ever. Watch my vlog. And the last thing that I got, actually the final thing that I got on the whole holiday, I hadn't been in the hotel shop at all, went in there as we were like waiting for the taxi to come, and I found this amazing Cruella shot glove. Probably the, probably the cheapest thing that I bought the whole holiday, and it's just gorgeous, and um, I'm so happy that I went in the shop and got this. It's um, it's going to sit proudly in my um, in my Cruella collection. Now I've saved the next thing for last because it pretty much made my expo for me. Now I took my Christopher Finch Art of Walt Disney book to California with the sole intention of being able to scrounge maybe one or two uh, autographs from Disney personalities. Now. I managed to get nine autographs from Disney icons and legends and it was absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to show you, um, and not all these autographs are from the expo, but who I did manage to get was Donnie Dunnigan, the voice of Bambi. I got Disney legend and Imagineer uh, Bob Gurr, Disney animator Rick Farmelo, Marty Sklar as I already mentioned. Um, Margaret Kerry, who was the life study for Tinkerbell. I got Andreas Deja, who is Disney animator and has animated Hercules, as you'll see there, and Scar and Jafar and a bunch of Disney, uh, Disney characters. Floyd Norman, Disney animator. Um, Don Hahn, producer and all around Disney, Disney guy. <laughs> and then Bill Farmer, the voice of Goofy and Pluto. Like that is seriously like to manage to get that many Disney legends and just people at the expo was phenomenal and I don't know if maybe it wasn't such a big deal for some people but I felt like there wasn't much lines or wasn't much of a wait to go meet these people and for me like getting autographs is such a massive thing and to meet these these legends so so I was so happy and my book is now forever more sacred than it ever was in the first place so um so I absolutely love um love this book even more now <laughs> so there we go five hours later I managed to get through all the stuff that I picked up at the Detroit Expo and Disneyland. Please let me know down below what your favourite things were that I showed you, and if you were at the Expo too, what you picked up yourself. I'd love to hear from you. Did you manage to get any more stuff than I did? Did you manage to get the Cruella de Vil purse that I didn't buy? Because hopefully I'll be able to get in the future. As I said earlier, this is going to be the first of many Disneyland and D23 Expo videos, so be sure to follow along for them in the coming weeks. I am Joseph Worthington and this is Cruella's Fair Coat. Be sure to subscribe for more Disney videos and don't stay too long.